Hi guys, in this video I will overview my asset Fantasy Inventory. Also, I will guide you how to integrate it with Fantasy Heroes Character Editor. And before we start, sorry for my beautiful British accent. There are two parts in this asset. The main part is icons. If you open Fantasy Icons Pack folder, you will see four different folders. Atlases, Background, Sources, with Background folder and Demon Scene. All icons are located in uh, this background folder. All icons are sorted by type like armor, helmet, weapon and armor. In order to reduce the asset size, we've created only icons with brown background and with transparent background. You can use any other background from backgrounds folder and you can also add your own background here. One important thing I would like to note is the sprite atlas located in atlas's folder. You should enable sprite packing from project settings. There are a lot of icons and your game may have significant performance issues if you don't use sprite packing. Please remember this. The second part of the asset is inventory system. You will find it in inventory folder. Please note that it's not complete inventory system, but it's a generic example you can use to create your own inventory system. It comes with minimal version of Fantasy Heroes Character Editor. And if you want to integrate it with Hero Editor, you should buy both. The main scene is inventory. Now there are four logical parts. Equipment window, character preview window, item info window and player items list. The first thing you should refer to are three main screens. Icon collection, sprite collection and item collection. Icon collection can read all icons from specified folder. In my case it reads all icons from brown folder, which contains icons with a brown background. With refresh button you can refresh icon list manually. Sprite Collection is the same script you can find in Fantasy Heroes Character Editor. It contains all equipment sprites that a character can equip. It uses scan folder tags to find equipment over different folders inside Hero Editor folder, including all extension collections like Abandoned Workshop or Epic Extension. And the main script is Item Collection. But before we continue, you should refer to how we define items. Let's navigate to Scripts Data and open item file. Item class has only two fields, ID and count, and it's serializable. This means you can store items as a list or an array and use JSON utility to convert it to JSON. The second important data class is item params. The main idea is that we store items in one place, for example, in player's profile, and we store item parameters in another place, in some kind of database, for example. It has ID field and type. Type is an anon. For example, it can be currency, loot, potion, scroll, helmet and other item type. Tags is a list of item tags that can be used by inventory scripts. For example, you can mark your item like not for sale or one handle. And properties is generic array of item parameters. Each property has ID and value. For example, you can specify physical damage with value 100 for your sword. But let's return to item collection. At first it requires two links to icon collection and sprite collection. There are also two item lists. The first list is user-defined items. You can define items here. For example, there is only one uh, item now and it's gold, it's currency, it has no text, it has no properties, uh, but it has an icon with name gold. The second list is generated items. Generated icons is just an example list of items and I want to especially know this. It can be created using icon list by pressing fill button. Don't use it in real environments. Let's run this scene. 
as we have all icons, but don't have all equipment sprites at this moment, some icons have dark frames, that means there are no sprites for this item. If we equip such items, nothing will happen with our character. Bright frames mean this item can be equipped and uh, we will see this. And now it's time to show you how to integrate Fantasy Heroes Character Editor. Note that all icons collection contains icons from Pro version as well as from all Character Editor extensions. But first we need to go to the Asset Store and download Pro version of Fantasy Heroes. After downloading and importing Fantasy Heroes, your Hero Editor folder should be replaced by the full version that contains all equipment sprites. Don't forget to check it. Then you should select Sprite Collection and press Refresh button to grab the new equipment. And also we should select Item Collection and press Test Fill button to update generated items. And the final step is running Inventory Scene. Now let's refer to Equipment node. There is a grid with item slots. Each slot has item type that it can accept. For example, this node can accept only supplies. And this node can accept rings. Uh, you can customize the view to fit your needs. For example, I can remove potions and scroll. And now my character can only equip helmet, ring, nickels, ring, weapon, armor, shield, clothes and boots. As a small bonus, you can find shop in scenes. Let's open it. It contains generic example of implemented trading system. You can sell and buy items here. If you have any questions, please contact me on GitHub. Good luck and hope you'll enjoy using my assets.